Hello, and welcome back. In this short video I'm gonna show you how to create a controlled conditional formatting in Excel. Please keep watching till the end. I have a simple data set from the cell ranges from B3 to D7. So, to apply a simple data bar conditional formatting. First select the cell ranges where to apply the conditional formatting. Then under conditional formatting choose the data bar option and select the design as your wish. I will just choose the first one. Based on the ratio of the data, the Excel will apply the selected conditional formatting immediately. So to control this formatting option manually, we can use a control box like checkbox or option button control from the developer tab. To do this, first, I will place a checkbox control. So, go to developer tab. Under insert menu. Select the checkbox form control option. Next, place the checkbox control on the worksheet. To snap between the cell, press and hold the alter button from your keyboard so it will place between the cell nicely. First, I will change the default name of the control box. Right click on the control box and choose edit text option. Remove the default name and I will mention the name like enable conditional formatting. Next, I will assign a cell link as an output. So, I will choose the cell F3 as a linked cell. When I checked or unchecked the control box, accordingly it will return me the true or false as an output in the defamed cell. Next, I will apply some fill color. So, the output value will not be visible at any time. Okay, now we have completed our first step. The idea is, when the checkbox control is clicked the conditional formatting should be applied. If unchecked should be removed the conditional formatting. I will keep the checkbox as checked state. Then go to conditional formatting and apply the data bar conditional formatting as we did before. Next, we need to assign another conditional formatting when the checkbox is unchecked to remove the conditional formatting. This should be done by creating a new rule. In the formula box, type equal then, select the output cell link address, which is equal to false, to convert the formula as true. Then leave the formatting as default without set any fill color or other formatting option. Then click OK. But, here we have a problem. The control box is still not controlling the conditional formatting. Hence, we need additional adjustment in the conditional formatting. To do this, click the manage rule option from the conditional formatting. Select the first rule, then check the stop if true option. The stop if true function can stop processing the current rule when the condition meets and ignore the second rule. Now click apply and OK. Now you can see it is responding nicely. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it is, hit the like button on this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to receive useful content in the future. This little gesture will help me a lot. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.